So, Wahoo Fitness just announced a new treadmill and they are calling it the Kicker Run Smart Treadmill. This treadmill features what Wahoo claims to be a revolutionary new sensing system that allows you to change pace without touching the controls. Basically, you hop on and you run on the treadmill just like you are running outside and the treadmill will adjust the pace without you touching any controls. And as a runner, a tech enthusiast and a gadget lover, I have always been frustrated with how archaic treadmill tech has been. Not much advancements has happened, usually bad interface, no or very limited integration with third-party devices or apps, and some can cost as much as a mortgage. And according to Chip Hawkins, Wahoo's founder, Wahoo has been working on the Kicker Run for the past seven years, and the Kicker Run will revolutionize indoor running in the same way that the Kicker did for indoor cycling over a decade ago. So this is what we know so far about the Kicker Run. Right off the bat, you will see the Kicker Run has a sleek, modern design to it, and when you see it, you know it is a Wahoo. The belt features those signature Wahoo chevrons, and you will spot the Wahoo logo on the side handles, main deck, and right there next to the Kicker Run logo. The running deck look very sturdy to me from the picture and has a premium look to it. It's got this Peloton Tread Plus or Woodway look with the continuous build design, which I really like. However, it looks like Wahoo is going with a regular build instead of the slats that we usually see on high-end models. Now, looking at the controls, Wahoo is using lever controls for speed and incline, and the display, it looks very straightforward. It shows time and incline, and uh, Wahoo here is relying on you to get your own display like a laptop screen or a TV or a tablet and connect it with a third party app. But I am curious to see if there's more under the hood in terms of the display features or metrics. And there's also another Wahoo logo to the left of the big red button and the safety pen. You will find dual bottle holders right next to the speed and incline paddles and a sizable laptop tray meant to hold a laptop or a tablet. Not sure how sturdy and secure that's going to be. Hopefully Wahoo created something to observe all the vibration and shakiness caused by running. And it looks like there are raised edges to prevent the laptop from sliding and falling over. I'm not sure what these prongs thingies here are for, but there is what looks like another tray within the main tray, and I'm guessing you can raise this one up and it will act as a tablet holder. But let's check out the power cable area. We've got what seemed like a standard power cable and also Wahoo Direct Connect dongle. You might be familiar with this dongle if you have a Wahoo Kicker Trainer. It is used to hardwire the Wahoo Kicker Bike Trainer to the Wi-Fi for a more stable wired connection. So Wahoo is using the same technology to hardwire the treadmill for a more stable connection to a compatible third-party app. And Wahoo also says the treadmill is super quiet. And speaking of connections, the Kicker Run can seamlessly connect to apps like Zwift and offer full integration with Zwift Run with the ability to automatically change gradients to match what you see on Zwift screen. And get this, the Kicker Run has the capability to reach speeds of up to four minute mile pace, which for those doing the math clocks in at 15 miles per hour. Usually you would have to hunt down some pretty high end exclusive treadmills to hit those speeds. And the Kicker Run offers three running modes. Run free mode, think of run free mode as your adaptive speed control. The treadmill is paying close attention to where you are on the belt and the moment you start speeding up or slowing down it notices and the motor adjusts the speed of the treadmill in milliseconds so if you naturally pick up the pace the treadmill speeds up and if you naturally slow down it slows down with you and this is supposedly all done without you pressing any buttons. It just happens. Along with this, there are these control paddles that let you make adjustment and tweak your speed or treadmill incline easily. So in simple terms, run free mode on the kicker run is like having a treadmill that understand and adapt to your running speed automatically. And the next mode is run smart. The whole idea of run smart mode is to bring the outdoor running experience indoors with stable and realistic running surface that is designed to respond like real ground. And this means the running surface gives back a bit of energy with each step and also 
an innovative lateral tilting capability to provide a more dynamic running experience, according to Ahu. And the final mode is Run Connected, and this is basically your erg mode. And this mode is designed for runners who love a good running workout, but want the treadmill to do the work for them. And what I mean by doing the work is the treadmill adjusts the speed and inclines to match the prescribed workout, not do the actual work of running for you while you enjoy some popcorn. Basically, the treadmill works with third-party apps to automatically adjust the speed and incline based on the workout you are doing. So if your training program says it's 6% incline at 12 miles per hour, the treadmill will adjust its incline and speed accordingly without you needing to press a button. Pretty cool, right? Let's talk about compatibility and availability. First up, the Kicker Run is set to play nice with Zwift right off the gate. And as you would expect from Wahoo, it is also going to sync up with their own gear like heart rate monitors, rival watch, and Wahoo system platform. But it can also uh, connect with other fitness watches as well, like Garmin watches. So you can track and record your run right on your Garmin watch. This is an Apple watch, by the way. Now, for the rollout plan, the US gets first dips in the summer of 2024 with a global expansion set for 2025. But the big question here is, how much is Wahoo going to charge for this treadmill? The press release is hush hush on this, but let's put our detective hat on and uh, try to figure it out. Given its cutting edge features, which are pretty unique in the treadmill market, I am betting the Kicker Run will carry a premium price tag. And let's face it, Wahoo has never been shy to charge you premium dollars for their hardware. Just take a look at their Kicker bike. And looking at the Peloton treadmill, for example, Peloton main selling point is their fancy, beautiful display that is tied to its own content and subscription model. The Kicker Run skips the display altogether. So Wahoo is saving money there. But Peloton Tread Plus is around $6,000 and their entry level model is about $3,000. But Peloton is banking on those subscription dollars. Wahoo, on the other hand, is all about the hardware. That is their main game. So they want to sell you a lot of treadmill to stay in business. So this is really interesting to see Wahoo is getting into this treadmill game. And the idea of integrating it with Zwift running adds a whole new dimension to indoor training. But what really piques my interest is that run free mode. And I'm looking forward to seeing how well it works. So what is your guess on the price? How much are you willing to spend on a treadmill like this, given the tech and features? Let me know in the comments. There you have it, folks. Do not forget to tap that like button. And if you are still watching but have not subscribed yet, you know what to do. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.